You don't need the fanciest setup to have fun trail riding. The people that I enjoy riding with, there's no need to impress them. And it doesn't make you much, if any, faster if you're riding a new bike. Old bikes are still fun to ride too. So, riding that 30-year-old KDX 200 or Honda XR200 is way better than not riding at all. Who cares if you can't afford something newer? So if you're riding with people that think that you need a newer bike, even though you're still having fun, you need to find a newer group to ride with. And if you are the jerk that thinks that you need to have the coolest, most expensive, best looking bike, chill out, dude. Are you getting paid to ride? No, who cares? So if you're riding that 1995 KDX 200 with worn tires, ugly plastics and graphics, you have gear that's 15 years old and your helmet and boots, they don't match. Don't worry about it. Who cares? If you don't care how you look, then why does it matter? I sometimes purposely wear gear that's ugly or mismatching just to make those fancy people annoyed. Oh, what are you doing here? You don't deserve to ride a dirt bike because you don't match gear and bike. As long as they function and keep you safe, why does it matter? I'm all about keeping dirt biking affordable and sometimes that requires buying closeout items for 85% off and they're probably not going to match. But that's what allows me to keep on riding without going bankrupt. <laughs> You don't need to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars that you don't have just to buy a newer bike or riding gear. That probably won't make you faster anyway. If finances are tight and you just want to have fun, why not keep your bike and riding gear? Just keep using them as long as they're not broken. And if something is broken, why not just fix it yourself and keep on riding? Now, why do I say all this? Well, new bikes are really cool, and if you can afford it, Great, but I see a lot of newer trail riders that are trying to fit in or they just want to start out with the best bike or maybe they want to be cool or they think it'll make them faster when in reality an expert level rider on a TTR 125 would smoke them on their 2024 KTM 300 XCW Hard Enduro Edition. They're putting around in second gear and they can't even control the throttle. It's too snappy, they whisk your throttle, crash into a tree, but that's for another video. Why waste that hard-earned money uh, just to impress someone or make yourself 2% faster on the trails? Instead, we could be spending that money on gas, oil, tires, you know, the things that you need to actually ride and have fun, or upgrading to a safer helmet or boots because those are very important protective gear. And if they don't fit properly or if they're worn out, falling apart, you should probably replace them. I'm not saying that no one should buy a brand new dirt bike. I mean, someone has to, at least if we want to have used bikes to buy, right? So if you can easily afford it, uh, not taking out a loan, and you know exactly what you want in a bike, well, Who's to stop you? Go for it. I'm just saying that if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, uh, like trying to impress someone or trying to go faster and you don't really have the money to afford it, it's probably not worth it, especially if you're living paycheck to paycheck. So what if we could ride with a group of friends where it didn't matter what bike we rode or what gear we had, whether it's a 1982 XR200 or a 2025 KTM 500. They're both still having fun. They're both still going similar speed because they're similar experience level. So why does it matter? And you don't have to be lit with a new kit of riding gear. Although it is okay to poke fun at that crazy looking pants or jersey that I have or some other people wear. So let's not flock to those people that have the nicest bikes and nicest gear just for that reason. How about we include everyone and build friendships with the people based on their person and character and not on their wallet or credit line. If you want to keep riding your Honda XR from the 80s or 90s, let's grow this community of content trail riders that don't need the fanciest bike or setup to have fun trail riding. And we're gonna get some lightning here again. Hopefully this tree doesn't fall down. So if you want to buy a used bike, then you should check out this checklist of what to look for when buying a used bike so that you can know that you got a good deal on a bike that is in good shape. I'm Kelly Fager from MX Hideout. Ride safe. Have fun. Ooh, messy.